Hi, I'm Dr. Drury with the Upper Cervical Spine Center, and uh, we have patients quite literally come to us from all over the world with uh, fibromyalgia. Now, if you break down the word fibromyalgia, what does it mean? Fibro is hard or tight. Myo is muscle. Alga is pain. So it's severe muscle pain, right? Tight muscle pain. Now, uh, if you look at the medical definitions, there's so many seven points, nine points, 11 points that hurt, they categorize with fibromyalgia. It seems to me that they kind of, uh, when they don't really know what exactly is going on and you have body pain, uh, oftentimes from head to toe, then they classify it fibromyalgia. Now, I have seen from experience that a lot of our fibromyalgia patients uh, have headaches. Uh, a lot of them have neck, back pain, arm pain. Some people will have more extremity pain, some people more body pain. Uh, but a few things that we commonly see, number one, first of all, is sleep. Uh, so most of them do not sleep well. Well, that could probably be a big part of the problem with why you have continued uh, body aches and muscle pains. If you're not getting into deep sleep, then your body never fully recovers from the previous day. So it would kind of be like going to the gym and doing bicep curls all every day and never giving the bicep enough time to fully heal because we have these postural muscles that support our body fighting off gravity. Uh, just standing, you're using muscles. Just sitting, you're using muscles. So as we use those muscles every day, the muscles break down. And if we don't get into deep sleep, stage four deep sleep, then our body never fully heals those muscles that were broken down. So they continue to break down. So we break them down one day, we don't get a repair. The same next day, we break them down again. They never get into deep sleep. They never repair. So we keep breaking down the same muscles. So we wind up with some neck pain. So almost everybody has trap pain, pain across the shoulders. Eventually, it can affect the arms, the legs. Now, another thing we see is a lot of times they have digestive disorders uh, like heartburn, reflux, irritable bowel, constipation. Um, so when we look at fibromyalgia patients, and I've had several hundred over the years, um, what we find is all of them have two things in common. One, there was a trauma in their history. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean they had an accident and then the next day their body hurt. Uh, it could have been 20 years ago. It could have been uh, birth. It could have been many years ago there was some sort of an injury to the head, neck, back. Could have been a fall, could have been a sports injury, could have been a car accident, could have been abuse. We've seen it all. But it starts with some sort of a trauma to the head, neck, or spine that misaligns what we have found. 100% of our fibromyalgia cases had a misalignment at the top of the neck, specifically the upper cervical spine, the top two bones in the neck. And that it makes a lot of sense because that houses the brainstem. The brainstem comes out of the head down to the bottom of those top two bones. And that's also where the sleep center resides. That's where the brain shuts down through all four stages from front to back to get you into deep sleep. So if there's a bone out of a line at the top of the neck, it totally screws up your whole sleeping system. So your body never gets into that deep sleep recuperative, reparative, stage four deep sleep so your body can actually heal. It also can interfere with the messages from the brain that go to your stomach, your colon. It can uh, definitely interfere with your overall digestion and how your digestion works. It can create that fibro fog because that's the brainstem and your thoughts and your memory, your emotion, it all travels from within the brain through the brain stem. And if the process gets interfered with, then your brain doesn't work like it should. It can cause you to be depressed, it can cause you to have anxiety. As these bones move, it also takes the head and can throw the brain out of balance. Well, the brain doesn't like it. So your body, as a result, when it takes the head one way, your body then starts to compensate to try to balance the brain. So it can drop one shoulder, can pull up one hip. I tell you what, something you can do to find out right now if maybe you have a misalignment at the top of your neck that could be creating your fibromyalgia is just look and go stand in front of a mirror. Then close your eyes. First thing I want you to do is turn your head slowly to the right, then slowly to the left, then bring it right back to middle. 
Now, before you open your eyes, the first thing I want you to do when you do open them is look at your ear lobes and look at your shoulders. Soon as you do, is one ear a little higher than the other? Is one shoulder a little lower than the other? If so, there's a really good sign that you have a problem at the top of your neck that could be creating this cascade throughout your spine that's resulting in all these muscle problems, pains, and spasms, etc. Okay? So if you have fibromyalgia, find an upper cervical doctor. Let them check you. They can take you in and within a few minutes they can find out for sure whether you have an upper cervical problem that could be causing your fibromyalgia. If you do, then they'll tell you what they need to do to fix it. If you're in the Charlotte area, that includes uh, South Carolina, Fort Mill, Rock Hill, Huntersville, Cornelius, Pineville, Matthews. If you're in anywhere in the Charlotte area, call our office, the Upper Cervical Spine Center, 704-588-5560. We're the office for you. We never charge for the initial consultation to see if you have an upper cervical problem that could be causing your fibromyalgia. If you do, we'll tell you, and we'll tell you what we need to do to fix it. If you don't, Hey, we'll try to find another doctor, another specialist that we believe that can help you. All right. I hope this video helps you. Hope you have a great day. We look forward to meeting you.